Yum! Okay, sick. Sick, 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 sick. Plop! What's up, guys? We're back on Showdown. I I really need to get this recording done so I can go to sleep and, and get up for work. Uh, failed recordings have happened, including one with Tennis. Um, I forgot to record his mic, so that's just ruined my day. Um, we have a, like, DPP, I don't know, just some weird-looking team here. Um, I've, I've tried recording a few times, but my my commentary has been bad. I've been too mean to people, all kinds of things that I hate. Um, let's, uh, let's just leave with Greninja, that's what I always do. He leads with his Zardarino. Um, I'm just going for a gunk shot here, because if he's Y, he'll stay in to kill me with Solar Beam. And Gunk Shot will make me resist that, and that actually does 5 million. I don't get a poison though, which is unfortunate. And uh, that Solar Beam still does a ton, so I'm just gonna go for a sneaky spike here as he goes into like his um his Rotom or something. He goes to Titar. This is this is Christmas right here. This set just helps Sharpedo a lot because um Low Kick weakens Ferrothorn into range of crunch. And Gunk Shot, like it has max attack, so Gunk Shot destroys Tapu Fini. Uh, so Sharpedo definitely appreciates the help of this thing. Um, so maybe we prevent his rocks there, I, I don't know for sure. It goes into Ape, so it's either Scarf or it's going for Mac Punch, so I think Garchomp is my play regardless. Uh, he does go for Mac Punch, so that's great. Oh my lord, that took some recoil. And I guess I'll just get rocks up here, he doesn't have removal. Goes into his Lando, I'm just going to detail this away before I get uh, double danced on, but he's actually Helmet. Um, so maybe this was, this is Life Orb, so I don't know, maybe he's like Sky Strike Staraptor or something. Um, I'm just going to kill this Infernape, so yep, that's that's fine with me. Uh, Scarf Gengar's looking pretty ripe, a little, little hard for him to deal with. Um, so Raptor comes in. It's kind of strange to let this take damage, but it's more than more than okay with me. Um, so yeah, he's probably just going to go for a nice Brave Bird here. He actually elects to U-turn, so take five. I'm sorry, this battle's bad. Like, they reset the ladder. I'm back up to, like, almost 1,500, so maybe the games will be okay soon. But, um, yeah, the, the Poker Bank thing came out recently, so um, they got rid of the Poker Bank OU ladder and... They let all the people who were laddering on non-bank like keep their points, but all the people who were laddering on the bank ladder have lost their points, so that's a shame. Weavile looks like a massive problem. Um, I don't know what he'd lead with. He has a lot of, a lot of fast things that might be hot leads. I think I'm just going to lead with this mindlessly because I'm really good at this game. Um, so I'm going to just go into Mad... Gianna here because I only really need it for Coco and I guess for Torn uh, rocks are going to be very important here um, so he just goes for Taunt which is extremely weird uh, I'm just going to try to smack this Ferrothorn with a nice HP fire as yeah he Volt switches out that's not Life Orb it's maybe Magnet though because that did quite a lot um, he might know the HP fire is coming, in which case he'd go to Finny, but it looks like that is not the case, and that does a ton. So Sharpedo is is getting ready. Um, I don't really care if he like goes to Tapu Finny, so he's gonna go for the Protect there. It's probably in my best interest to just like kill this, although Volt Switch like on the Finny would be super nice, but I can just get the slow Volt later as he sacks his um Ferrothor, and so that's great. I guess Metagross is coming in here. Like, he really doesn't have much for this Pokemon. Um, I, I need to weaken Tapu Finny, and then Sharpedo should be just about ready. I need a bit of damage on Tapu Coco as well. And I guess probably a bit on Weavile, because without Strong Jaw, its other moves are quite weak, like Waterfall. So yeah, he's, uh, he's having a little little think, he decides to go to this, which I don't think can kill me, but I certainly can't kill him. Uh, Metagross. Mega. Magiarna. Let me put Earthquake in here somewhere. And I live. 
that would make Tapu Coco a little bit hot, but it would also make a Sludge Wave sweep quite hot for me. Um, I, I definitely like can't kill him. And this is just, this is already in range of Sharpedo, so... It's kind of hard to know what to do, I guess. I'll just take the HP fire damage. I'm sorry if this is a bad play, but I'm kind of not... Uh, this might put him in range of Rocky Helmet, which is beautiful, so I think I'm just going to go to my chomp here and get him with that. He might Ice Punch, but I don't think I'd die. Um, yeah, he goes for Mash, so that will let me kill him. Oh, not quite, I'm afraid. Uh, and Rocks would be lovely. I'm going to pivot to Gren um, to take this Ice Punch, hopefully, as he goes for Mash and misses. That sucks for him. I'm sorry, mate. I'm um, just going to go for a safe Ice Beam to kill this. Uh, he goes to Tapu Coco, which was quite bold. Um, right, <laughs> okay. That was very questionable. I guess he was predicting the Dark Pulse very hard there. Um, I still need this alive to... to, um... finish off my Sharpedo support plan. Um, and we'll just go into Goose Legs here. And... I'm going to get pursued by doing this. Unfortunate. I'll go for Sludge Wave though, because that'll encourage Metagross to come in, but he unfortunately decides to sack it there. <sighs> that's that's a fine play, but yeah, I didn't want Weavile coming in too easily. So, I mean, coming in to pursue me. So we kill him there. That will let Coco, Weavile, or not Tornado, surely, come in. Probably Coco, just because he doesn't take any damage, but he goes to Weavile, so he's going to reveal whether he's banded here. Uh, he goes for Pursuit, which is, like, insane. So he just takes all of that damage. Um, anyone up for a little Sludge Wave here? I wonder whether this kills. <laughs> I'm playing very, very badly. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Weavile, 60, yeah, it kills, thank goodness. Thank goodness it kills. So Torn hopefully gets to a KO's. Nope, he is salt vest. Um, just go into my uh, my grin here, expecting the plop off. Uh, yep, which he goes for, and now I'll just uh, like Gunk gets a kill if I hit, and Spikes does nothing. So I'll just Gunk shot here. Like he still has his Tapu Finny, so this is a fine switch in for him. As we thankfully hit our move, and now Sharpedo is um, getting ready. Oh yes, so we just got to hit another one here. Uh, it's not too like there's not much of a risk because he can't really hurt me while I'm a poison type. Um, so one miss would have been acceptable there. Uh, Weavile comes in to smack me with a knockoff. Um, I guess we may as well just go to Lando because oh he, yeah he can pursue me. Oh forgot about that um yeah kind of wild to go for um that move there but it's it's fine i think sharpedo should be able to wrap this up pretty easily so yeah torn's still a uh a fine switch in for sludge weave um we'll just go to lando here it would have been great to get rocks up but um i could not so this comes in he goes for U-turn. I like I should be able to win with Sharpedo, so I'm not too worried about all of this. Um, I do just need to be a little bit careful. Um, yeah, let's just let's just earthquake here. And he goes for a crash. Um, yeah, I need to go to Sharpedo. <laughs> I'm being stupid, so let's protect and just win the game. Is Coco had taunt so I know it's not scarfed um, yeah I, I think we're probably good here he stays in which is fantastic goes for ethical crash let me just make sure I don't need to evolve yet because um, it would be good to to keep speed boost just in case I end up needing it for like torn and Coco later um, but I think I can just crunch the Tornadus. Um, he goes to Coco, so that's that's the game. That's over. That's game over. Uh, we can just evolve Waterfall and then Crunch plus Sludge will kill the Torn. 
Um, yeah, he forfeits. Like, if he went to Torn first, it could have been a bit hairy if he had um, superpower. But he decided to go to Coco. Like, I don't understand sometimes what goes through a person's head. Like, Tapu Coco at 35% is probably not living a sharp, Mega Sharpedo's Waterfall. Whereas, like, a Torn at 90% is, is a little bit more likely. Uh, this guy has very, very fast threats. Um, I'll talk to, talk to Ox afterwards. We're actually just, like, waiting for me to finish this video so we can play Mario Kart, which is actually a fun game. But... Uh, we'll try to have fun playing this one for now. So yeah, my my Gren to weaken Finny for Sharpedo Strat can work here. Feromos is a fantastic Pokemon. Let's leave with Ghost Legs as a pretty massive threat to his team. Yeah, he leaves with this, so we can just go for Shadow Ball to start weakening the Nihiligo, hopefully, which he goes hard into, so he's presumably not uh, Scarfed Feromosa. Um, or he didn't want to take the uh, the damage. The uh, sorry, I'm stupid. Um, let's go to Gren here. I don't think he would T wave when I have two grounds. Um, so he gets up his pops. Uh, are you heavy? Yeah, you're pretty heavy. I'm just gonna go for a low kick here because he will. Pro I regret this decision. Um, I should have spiked there because he's weak to water. I I do this sometimes. I like forget what they're seeing and how they would react to what they see and, and all of that but yep that that gunk shot hits so we're in a good spot um i'll just spike now to um to help sharpedo later so i die to moonsack that's acceptable um he has no ground immunities so i think i'm just going to take a little bit of advantage of that and go for an earthquake here as his thing thankfully dies and I don't uh, Coco can kill me or he can go to Ice Beam Feromosa uh, which he does seem to be doing um, I I guess I'll just go to Gengar but it can definitely win um, <laughs> uh, yeah I'll go to Majana I have two checks to Alakazam so if this gets weakened by like a wild high jump kick here, I'll probably still be okay. Um, doesn't freeze me, which is sick. And now something just kind of dies to flash cannon. Hopefully this Oko is dog trio, because that would be very depressing if he just like misplayed and went hard dog trio and got rewarded. Um, but yeah, flash cannon's going to like take one soul. He reveals that he's not choiced, so he might be sash spam or something. Could have like three focus sash users on his team um it, or he could be e-belt i don't really know i don't know whether yeah sharpedo is faster at plus one which is a good thing for sure um zam dies to crunch like i just need damage on coco and then my thing sweeps so he sacks nihiligo which is totally acceptable uh i probably live I probably live a hit from Dog Trio. Yep, yum. Light Snack, and that's going to let his Zam get a uh, Soul Heart boost. But I have my nice juicy Scarf Gengar, which hopefully overcomes him. Gengar, uh, let's just get rid of the Life Orb on this. Alakazam Mega. Uh, Shadow Ball, yep, that's a clean Oko. So we'll just take, yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over. Unless I let Feromosa get a bunch of boosts, which I just won't do. Um, and Gengar like checks it anyway, so I guess he can get his boost here. So I should go hard into Gengar to prevent that. Um, so he might also go for Rapid Spin. No, he goes for Bug Bus, okay. Um, so yeah, I, I just sludge. Is this resist? Does this resist sludge? Feromosa doesn't appear to, so now I just get my kill with Sludge Wave. Um, and he elects to forfeit, which is kind of weird, but like any Gengar would have kind of given him the business from there. So into the next. Okay, this uh, this looks a little bit bad, but it has um, has some threatening Pokemon at the same time. Uh, is probably Sash Nitto King, which is going to be very annoying. Um, wonder where the Gren's going to live. I, pr I probably just need to like let Gren break the Sash. I feel like I've seen this team before, which is why I'm like strangely familiar with it. Uh, Granger. He 
Duke. You, you wall breaker and he's just like nothing. Oh, so I actually live, which is cool. Um, so I can just go for Ice Beam, I guess. And he'll either get rocks up or go for Sludge Wave, I believe. He might go for Fire Blast, but that would be kind of... Yeah, he gets his plops up. Um, so I'll just low kick here to hit the Magjana if he goes hard into that. So this is looking great now. We're really getting um, getting somewhere in terms of setting up our Sharpedo. And I will just spike now because this is going to be... Uh, unless this is the shift gear set, but my own Magiana should be able to check it, so I'll just spike again. Um, this is probably a misplay, like I really should... Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, so now something is getting the business from this Earthquake. I could definitely Rock Polish here, um, predicting the Nidoking King sack, so I'm just going to do that, because that'll put me in a much better spot as he actually sacks this instead. Whatever. Um, now he sacks Nido King. Played that well. That's that's good work, bro. Um, this must have uh, Water Shuriken, so I'll go into this. He's Life Orb Shuriken. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, that's what he is. I will just Vault Switch out here. Um, that's nice and safe. As yeah, he goes to his own mag. Um, I gotta try to not let that thing evolve. And that's probably AV. Um, let's. I'm sure Sharpedo can't kill it, so we'll just go into this. Um, which does definitely let his Greninja become a threat, but it's Life Orb, so we can hopefully manage it just by virtue of that. And he really has to sack this here. Uh, Mimic you can also definitely be a, pre uh, a threat. <laughs> you might have seen that message from Ox just asking like which attempt this is, because I've made quite a few attempts to record this video. Um, I, Hard Chomp is totally safe here. This was a bad play from him, I believe. So he goes for BP, and yep, it's just what you expose yourself to by making that play. So I can get up my rocks here just to weaken that Greninja f um, more quickly as he goes for knockoff. So now he dies. To, I'm just going to go for Fire Blast. Just because um, I don't know whether Earthquake would kill from there. So that happens. Um, <coughs> sorry, this is... This is bad commentary. But yeah, Grin comes in, I'll go to my Gengar afterwards. It's just Mimic you that's gonna be a a gut dang menace. Um, I guess I could go hard mag. No, that's no, no, I'm being stupid. He misses Hydro, so that's great. But I could have just gone to Magiano afterwards and then that would have been <laughs> fantastic for me, so. We hacks instead of playing the game out, but I'm pretty sure we had it because he made that bad Sis play. Uh, oh, I've lost to this tonight. Let's not let that happen again. Um, but like, it's it's really hard to prevent it, really, because he has Celesteela plus Sticky Web, which is very very problematic. Um, okay, so what misplays can we learn from? This team, yeah, it's it's just like a really hard combination for me to beat. Um, I need rocks up sooner to get some damage on that Landorus. So let's get those plops up. He does have HP ice on this, so he may elect to just, yep, do that. Uh, I'm just going to drag and tail him away here, expecting the sticky web. Although he really loses nothing from HP icing, but yeah, hopefully we get something good. We get Gengar, which is pretty great. I'll just Earthquake here in case we can live, because he is Black Sludge. Um, yeah, I live, so we just killed a Gengar, which is amazing. Nice. And yeah, this guy just times out because his uh, his night is over. So in comes his Nihiligo, which is a bit of a menace with that ability it has. Um, I can just go hard. Okay, that was, that was considerably easier than the last time we played. Okay, and we get a... Uh, I think this is a pre-bank rain team. Threatening nonetheless. Um, so yeah, Pelop is a very annoying bastard. I'm just going to leave with this to like threaten him with Vault Switch and, and stuff. He leads with Decid. Um, I don't particularly want to get raided. So I guess we can just go into Plomp. Um, uh, he went to his Garchomp on my... Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, um, he could go for a Drake here. I guess I'll just go to Lando. Yeah, he doesn't care. He just, um, went for Outrage, okay. Uh... We can take a, um... Minus one Earthquake with Mag, so I'm just gonna make this plane go for Flia Cannon. He might be Sash the way he's playing, but... Okay, yeah, he goes to Sizz, that's okay. Um, minus... Minus one eighth P5, probably not doing too much. I'm gonna get my rocks up here. Uh, he can U-turn, but... Then his Sizz is dead, yeah. Amazing play. Keep the momentum, but lose your Pokémon. So his Chomp or his Pelly can come in here. Um, yep, he goes to Pelly, so I think I'll just get up my props. On the likely U-turn into Kingdra, as, yep, this is gonna take 30% too, but Kingdra at least gets to come in, so... Uh, Hydro Pump gets a kill. That's just it. Um, Chomp is... it's okay, but, yep, Surf's just going to shit on me. Uh, I guess we'll just use, um, Magiana for this purpose. I should live this nice and easily in Floor Cannon will kill something on his team, except for Decidui. Uh, and yep, Sizz dies, so now we're at minus one. He goes to Tapu Koko, which is kind of weird. Um, I should keep this nice and healthy for his Pelipper. So, let's, uh, just kind of sack Lando with that in mind. Um, yep, he goes for Thunder. Now we can pivot expertly into Ghost Legs. Um, if he thunders again, then, well, Jesus is among us. So hopefully Sludge Wave kills, because I've had enough of this battle. <laughs> Um, not, not this battle, this battle has been fine, but like, I've been playing for too long today. Um, I guess he could go to ch okay, that's gonna, that would have died if I was Life Orb. Um, you gotta wonder sometimes what these people are thinking. Um, I'm just a bit scared of Scarf Chomp destroying me with Earthquake. Uh, he's gonna have to sack his, yep, um, I'm sorry Lando, but you are the the most expendable mans on my team. Does Sharpedo actually just come in and win now? This is great because I, um, get two speed boosts, which at least, um, ooh, what if he's, um, no, we can definitely protect you. Yeah, cool, so we get two speed boosts, um, which would have prevented the Kingdra from coming back in if he sacked Pelipper at that turn, which I think he probably should have. <clears throat> Although I could have always just like gone straight for Crunch because Kingdras are never timid. But I was not about to risk this one being the one timid Kingdra in the world. I was locked into Surf too, presumably, so yeah, we probably didn't need to protect there, but it's going to work out for me. Um, Coco needs to take more damage. Okay, he just leaves. This has been a... <laughs> interesting set of battles. Okay, 24 minutes. Um, we'll, just, we'll just wait and see whether he comes back. Alright, so he uh, he just times out there because Sharpedo is about to get him. Uh, this looks threatening as hell. It looks unusual too. Uh, it's going to be a while before Sharpedo can get this guy, but he does have a regular Sizz, which is one less obstacle. Ah, the Chomp looks great as a lead. Leads with Lando, that's the worst thing that could have happened and it's not actually that bad. So rocks are gonna be great for his Volcanion and everything is neutral to rocks on his team. So he goes for Earthquake, uh, very nice play there because people always go for rocks first so then you can get your rocks up nice and easily uh, after that. Um, he's slow, but he's offensive. Actually, maybe he's... I'm just going to go to Greninja here, expecting the Stealth Rock. And we definitely put some pressure on him. I'm just going to go for... Uh... Gunk Shot, expect... Oh, no! Who's back, fly it in? Oh, no! Fire, who's that about it? Oh, no! I am fire and some... Why are you so... What would compel you to do that? Oh... Look how much that did, though, but, like, people are so awful. Like, uh, be, like you expect me to, just, like, be nice to... Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, so I went to Chomp here. We might just lose to... Oh, he's... Awesome. That was... Like, you have two good switch-ins for Gren. 
they're both bad, but like they're, they're switch-ins kind of. Um, do you want to do you want to do a sky strike here? Or swords dance then sky still and Gengar kind of still revenges. Um, actually, we can go to Sharpedo and just like start crunching, um, which is quite hot. Um, so I'm just gonna go for a crunch here. Hopefully he's choiced. Okay, he doesn't seem to be. No, no, he is. He is choiced, banded. He just did that anyway. Um, we'll waterfall here, try to catch the Lando as he comes in. Yeah, nice play. Very, very good. Um, that does weaken my Sharpedo a lot for his team, which is, like, fantastic for him. Uh, I think Volcanion's the best play, but he likes to do this, so I can just protect to scout whether he's BPing or pursuing me as he goes for BP, so I can go into my chomp because it doesn't really let anything set up and he dies to rocks anyway so why would he predict um hopefully scarf gengar can win soon but he has too many bulky things and too many specially defensive things for that to be a reality uh sky strike kills something as soon as i get that in oh, i'm just gonna sack this here okay he seriously just went for the 60 percent win there right there um all right, bye, Chomp. Like we have, Mad he's probably got Destiny Bond. <laughs> but boy, he just, he just, this whole game has been a joke. Like he just, just like on a free turn when he could have gone to anything and just killed me. He shows a sixty percent chance to get plus one speed Gengar. Um, actually, he can just hypnosis this as well. Um, but he he chooses not to. So if I get debonded, it's um kind of kind of bad, but I have Lando, so what could really go wrong? Does Vault switch out here? Uh, so hopefully, okay, cool, so we're alive, and I possibly should have just stayed in with this, but Lando is just going to come in and get its kill. Uh, Pearl joins the Wolfpack captain. That's my man. Well, not really, I never speak to Pearl, but if I, if I had to love one of the SPL teams, I would love the Wolfpack, and seeing as I do have to love one of them, I love the Wolfpack. Uh, so bye, Venusaur. And then everything else will just die to Earthquake unless it's Scarf, Ice Punch, Hoopy, which probably can't kill me. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice and easy. Um, is it Scarf, Ice Punch? I hope it's not. It probably should be Scarf because his team is nice and slow, but um, he, I can say with confidence that this person deserved to lose the battle. Um, so good game wreck let's just get one more let's just that's been like 10 fights already which is nice at least and the video is not even that long but yeah i want my videos to be kind of shorter because they've just been like averaging 40 minutes since sun and boom which is a little bit unacceptable all right we get a uh <laughs> I, I don't really understand this team it's like hyper offense but then it's it's just got toxapex and so maybe it's fat skarmory after all uh, let's just get Sharpedo to win, because it definitely has the potential to do so. Um, I gotta get it, get the lead, yeah, I'm just gonna lead with Gengar, which can also definitely win, but he leads with Pex, so catch this. Catch this tick, like the Scarf would be nice, but fuck Toxapex, am I right? Um, so yeah, but let's just get this nice and tricked, tricked as fuck. And he goes for T-Spike, so that's perfect. I can just start spamming Shadow Ball and things that it's going to die. Unless he's our uh, Spidef Skarmory. Okay, we get a, a very meaningless Spidef drop. Um, <laughs> this is a very privileged position because I just like sit here and spam Shadow Ball. And there's nothing he can do. Like the Scarf would have been very nice, but I think tricking Toxapex is okay too. As he goes into Skarmory, plop. And that is not Spidef at all, so yep, goodbye. No hazards for you except for those T-Spikes. Um, oh, back to Toxapex. So he's probably going for a wee Scald here. Um, hmm. Is it okay to let this get weakened? I probably need it <laughs> healthy, as funny as that sounds, for his um, Ferramosa. So I'll just bring this in as he goes for Scarf Recover. Are you are you okay? Uh, and we will just go for. Oh, let's go back to Gengar actually and absorb these T spikes because he's probably going to scar more Mammoth Swine. Um, yeah, he goes to Metagross actually. Okay. Uh, I don't want to risk this tie really. So 
so I'm just going to go into my chomp as he does want to risk the tie and just goes for Zen and gets a crit. That's great because he gets this two at KO instead of instead of not getting it. I'm uh, going to go into Gren here. <laughs> that was a very bad crit for me. Um, as he goes for, yep, Meteor Mash. And he still has his Toxapex to switch in, so I'll just get up a spike here. Um, it is it is Scarf Toxapex, but uh, yep, cool. So the spikes are coming. I I don't care for this Gren anymore. Let's just give it a little sack as he kills me with Scald, probably. Um, Chomp will outspeed his Skarmory, so I could just go on Earthquake here, which seems a bit hot, unless he burns me with Scald, which would just about ruin Christmas, but let's just hit him with an Earthquake, and then I just have to hit my Fire Blast if he chooses to switch. But he's just going to go for this fantastic move, and he doesn't get rewarded. So I'm just going to Quake again. Now we just have to hit Garchomp, it's easy, I gave you speed for this. And Breloom and Bishop, I gave you speed, we don't have to deal with any frigging hazards. Yes, could. Could, good, fantastic, great, grand, wonderful, goodbye. Um, so remaining threats are like everything. Uh, I'm in range of Earthquake from Metagross, which is sad because getting that little that little chip would be nice. Uh, I think Sharpedo might be ready to go in. Maybe not, not quite ready. Um, I have nothing for this. Let's just Earthquake him in case he goes for rocks. Plop! Um, now we calc Sharpedo because... Sharpedo Mega. I would love to... Well, well, anyway, we'll get the calc and then we'll know exactly what's going on. Um, waterfall. He dies to Waterfall. That was Mega though. Sharpedo. Uh, waterfall. He might not die to that, that's disgusting. Um, and that's going to force me to evolve, so I need to know for sure whether I'm going for it. Um, Pex, I think, will die, so that's very attractive. Are you serious, Sharpedo? Like, you can't kill a Mamoswine. I'm just going to go and protect... Ah, it's such a bad play. It's a... <sighs> I even got Black Sludge from the Toxapex, that's quite funny. Um, is that Adamant, really? Oh, that's Jolly. Okay, okay, it's Jolly. So we're just going to be able to kill him with this waterfall here. And then we get two speed boosts because of Toxapex. And um, then we outspeed Feromosa at plus two, I, I really hope. So in comes this. Plop. Um, nice 18, nice 18. Uh, Toxapex, blank set. 252, 252, Psychic. Things. 34. I think I can just protect here and, like, always win this game. I'm pretty sure that's, like, totally fine. So he goes for Scald. Uh, at plus two speed, I am at... I'm gonna get this roll, because if he's, um... Thank God, if he's Scarf, positive speed nature Feromosa, he would be able to shit on me. Uh, and now we just need to make sure... Tapu Lily dies to a... It dies because of... Yep, he needs to be... Very, very bulky too. Nope, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not bad enough. Mega Chomp. Jo nope, nope, I'm adamant. Oh baby, this is going to be a very satisfying Oko. Okay. And now everything's just gonna die to my nice plus three speed Sharpedo. Christmas is served. Hopefully he like gives me the satisfaction of actually sweeping him, but it was too much to ask, so thanks guys for watching this video was, um, I'm at 1600, I've only, well I, I did four battles like right at the start of Sun and Moon, um, for some reason it used to say Pokebank was um, just the Gen 7 OU ladder, so I had like four battles from my first video, but uh, I have already laddered up to basically where I was on the Pokebank ladder, so yeah that's nice, um, higher GXE too. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Sharpedo is really cool. I think you should try it out. My good buddy Kratos Mana used it in week one of SPL to nab a win. Um, it's just like ridiculously strong, and with Psychic Fangs, it can get through Venusaur and Toxapex and stuff a lot easier. So yeah, just pair it with a Tapu Fini Lua like Gungshot Gren, and you will be well on your way to a Merry Christmas. Um, thanks again for watching and for 
giving the Arachnid video like almost 200 likes. If you want to go and give that video like six more so it actually gets there, I'd appreciate that. Um, if you're wondering about like whether clicking the ads made a difference on that video, it did get to like over six dollars in revenue, which is you know not much, but like more than most of my videos make. So thank you for for that. It's nice to see that you guys want to do just those little things to help me. So I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.